experiment and finding out how tornadoes work. It's going to be a very cool experiment. Make sure you're secured to something so you don't fly away. <laughs> now we're going to show you what you need for the experiment. So the experiment is called Tornado in a Bottle. So it's an underwater tornado. The things you will be needing is some water, two bottles of the same size. The same size. Same. You'll need a funnel and a vortex connector. If you do not have it, you can use a washer and, and some duct tape. tape. Then these are optional. We're going to use some oil. Oh, there's oil. And then we're going to use some glitter to explain everything that's going on the tornado. Now let's, let's get started. First, we got to take your water bottle and screw off the lid, and also take this part, the off. ring part off. So you the might need to help for that part. So step one is we're gonna take our water bottle, our bottle our bottle and our funnel and we're going to pour water three-fourths of the way so three quarters <laughs> then we're going to uh, take our vortex connector and screw it onto the water bottle that has water then we're going to take the water bottle that doesn't have water and then screw it off Make sure you have it's on tight. Up. Yeah. Make sure it's very tight. So yeah, we don't starts. want the water to leak out. So then we're gonna just flip it over like this. And then wait, the water's not going down. There's no tornado. What's wrong? Hmm. What do we do? Tornadoes usually spin around to form. Why don't we spin it around? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Huh. Wait, let's spin it in a circle. Faster, 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 faster. Hmm, we didn't spin fast enough. Okay, let me try. because of gravity. Now let's add some oil, some olive oil. Just pour it or you get. Oh, okay. Whoa. Um, I think we need I think that's enough. Maybe we need a little bit. Oh, that's enough? Yeah, that's, that's good. enough. Okay. Oh, look how is that? We put oil to see if we can see the tornado a little more better. Okay. You can use dish soap or, or, or any kind of thing. Yeah, so now we're going to spin it like we did before. Yay! Oh, it's, it's, it's going, Ricky. It's going, it's going, oh. it's going, it's going. See, you can see up here the yellow stuff. That's it's the spinning. Oil. That's the oil. Look, it's like and then it's down going. here it's going. Oh, it got so me. the oil and the water did not work very well. So we added some fresh water and we're going to add some glitter to show to represent the uh, debris it's gonna the tornado will pick up uh while it will collect while it's going so we're gonna add some green for the grass and trees and we're gonna this. we're gonna add some purple for like houses and cars and whatsoever Getting all sucked up. Now, now we're going to explain how and why the vortex forms. So, when I spin, it creates a funnel shape. And then in the there's a tornado. So in the middle of the tornado, there is a hole, which is the vortex. So when it uh, spins, it releases air to go up, and then the water can go down at simultaneously. Now let's 
see if the water will go faster or slower if we don't spin it. Nothing is happening. That's because the air is trying to go up and the water is trying to go down at the same time. It keep it whenever the um the water and the air go together, it's blocking each other for for them to go down and up. So that they can't go down or up. So when it goes, when we shake it a little, see what's happening? So they each have to take turns, right? Yeah. So the air goes and then the water. They take turns. That's how it makes the gulp, 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 gulp sound. But it's slower than the other one, like when we spin it. Because that one goes faster and this one's slow. Yeah. This one it goes, goes down faster. faster. Because of the so, vortex. Yeah. Let's look at how a tornado forms. A tornado forms from a special thunderstorm. The thunderstorm is called a supercell thunderstorm. It That thunderstorm has a lightning, hail, rain, and strong winds. In the U.S., a supercell thunderstorm forms when cold air from Canada g blows west and hot air from the Gulf of Mexico blows north. When the warm air and cold air collide, the warm air gets sucked up into the cloud, into the wind. Then the wind starts spinning counterclockwise. When the wind starts spinning, it creates a, fun, a cloud that looks like a funnel, which is called a funnel cloud. When the funnel cloud goes down and touches the ground, it has become a tornado. A tornado can last up to four to five minutes and it can its speeds can reach up to 300 miles per hour. It causes a lot of destruction. In cool fact, in the northern hemisphere, the a tornado spins counterclockwise, but in the southern hemisphere, tornadoes spin clockwise. Now it's your turn to try this super fun experiment. Uh, try it with different sized bottles and different amounts of water. And see Let, what happens to the tornado. Record it in a journal or on a piece of paper. Does a tornado happen or does it not? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And share. Bye. Bye.